back to back to back. Got the booski. Oh, coming for some electric fan. Rails. Don't know what it is on here. Ain't no part numbers or nothing. But uh, they ain't cooling it off. Yeah, get to get to about two thirty. Start leaking cooling here and there. Put some bigger fans on it. Let's do it. Yeah, so I'm just letting it cool off right now. That way I don't burn myself on nothing. Yeah. I'm gonna give it about a good 30, 45 minutes. The fans is directional. They blow this way. That way when you drive in the uh air is forcing this way, the fans ain't restricting itself trying to blow in the opposite direction so all the heat blow that way um, if you it's only two ways you can wire you got positive and negative on the fan so say if it's blowing this way you just switch the wires around and just blow that way but what i gotta do is see which wire is which and then the grounds for it how they ran the grounds because i'm just tapping in to what's already done um, I think these are the grounds for the fan, but I don't know. I come all the way around. Boom, boom. So that's positive and negative for the relay. Okay. So yeah, I just gotta take this tape down and see what the hell is what. Man, the, the controller on this car was never on this car. Where is that? I was like, what the hell? We look for the control inside the car. I end up pulling the manual up and seeing where, where it connect that. I mean, I was like, oh yeah, so it connect to the actual sniper EFI unit. So I trace back the wires. I'm like, there ain't no control on this motherfucker. But he had another controller because this is other car. That sniper EFI going on this once the system done. I was like, man, what the fuck? That's crazy. So. Set the fans are setting all that the controller actually for this truck is uh back there on the seat yeah so yeah i'm gonna let it cool off and then i'll go through that wiring and swap these units all right so tested the fans positive and negative and it runs that way so you ain't gotta do no crazy uh wiring it came with a rubber strip to go around and then it came with its own brackets, which is great because I was going to go to Home Depot and get some brackets. But it came with it. Now, how the hell are we going to mount it? That's the question. So, we recommend you mount from the side. But well, we ain't got no space to mount on the side. We got to mount on the top. Top and bottom. But we got the same slotted holes on the top and the bottom. It's the side. So, let's see. Now they're not These are the fans on the diagram. The side of the ready uh the, the piece. But let's see man what we got. Alright man, we back. They fit in between this red. Alright y'all, this is what I came up with. I took the two fan bolts out and put screws and nuts and I can put some some uh, silicone that way it don't come loose. But uh, drill the hole here so the wire should come out here. Uh, I was putting them through here, but I ain't like how I was looking, so I made my own grommet. My own grommet came out real nice. And uh, this radiator is like perfect fit. I mean, this fan setup is perfect fit for this radiator. This slide right in between the, uh, the channel for it. So drop it in, I already labeled everything. Fan one and two in the ground. So both the rounds go together, then if you want to try it, you gotta go. Alright, we gotta test it out, man. We got everything ran. Connect it back. Did it real nice. Everything is in some good, nice loom. So I'm just gonna let it run, cut the AC on. See, see what it do. Not a good 
controller too for this thing. Got the second controller in there. I'm hoping that it stays between 180 and 200. We'll see here in a second. Speaker wire on here. Trying to read it. Probably one of the problems. See, it's sparking the arc. I put primary copper wire on all my stuff. What that read? Look at that. Alright, guys, we back with the booski. Man, man, man. Oh. Uh, Everything was working right, and what happened was, uh, which now I know it's something for me to look at, or something for me to do, before I even started troubleshooting, I looked at the, the wiring too late on the actual relay, so this here is like some speaker wire, CCA type stuff, uh, yeah, so this and this power wire was super super gummy and then it was glowing in the dark <coughs> then i got pictures of how it was now so if i wiggle it it'll work it's not 100 percent copper it's super like flimsy so this is a painless kit everybody in the part numbers painless wire harness dual fans with ac 100% copper, this is like what come on the car. And then the wire ain't it's flimsy like, like that other wire. 100% copper. See, I hold, this is just straight gummy. Right. Especially once it, it got hot too, so it was like super. Let me see. Yeah, I ain't even gonna. I wasn't saying I'm gonna start a car and let y'all see it, but I don't wanna put them as off fumes in. Um, I have closed the door and turn the AC on. I wired this AC in today. I'm gonna try to knock this out so I can get my car back tonight and then jump back on this uh, box shed. You know, just try. I thought it was gonna be a little quick job on Sunday. I'm like, I knocked this out on Sunday. I knocked it out, but yeah. These relays here is some car alarm relays. Like, all oh, this is CCA. So. My 100% copper wire. If we get that, if we get all that out of there, wire it to the holly. These the signal wires for the holly. So we ain't putting no switch on the motor. You ain't got no input for a switch anyway, because you got on um, the decoder here, holly there, and then in the back, I don't think it's no space for it. All right, we got uh, everything working. The wire took right here. The wire took right here. Ain't working and blowing good. Big fuse up here. Relays down there. Power wire running across the ground right there. Ain't been running for like 30 minutes. It's in the same spot. It ain't past 173. The AC on too. The next day, I'm completely done with wiring, man. I, I end up taking another set of relays out. These the first ones, the car audio ones, and then these second ones was on the first set of fans. Well, both 
both of these was on the first set of fans. These was the first set of relays. So uh, when I pulled back this, this was the ignition for those relays. And then I'm guessing that these speaker wires was already in there. Y'all can see where I soldered it and tried to do a temporary fix, but he said, hell no. Nah. Put the real shit on there. So bad, I got you. Uh, I showed y'all the wire tuck. And then I wired the fans to where when the AC on, the fans come on. So the AC on right now. See the car should be, yeah, low. But look, turn this off. Fans come off. Turn it on. Fans come on. AC click. Fans come on. Yeah. AC off. Clutch click. Fans go off. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Clutch click off, fans go off. So the, the car hit where well, I put 180 and 185, fan 1 and 2 come on. 160, 165, fans go off. AC on, fans come on. So in the next few days, next week, you know, you got to, uh, uh, Janky, Janky Fabrications, he made uh, radiator support bracket for this we're waiting on it <coughs> i'm trying to see if we're gonna drop this wire to the bottom or something we gotta come up with something for the overflow i really don't like it like this but we'll come up with something uh, <coughs> let's see if i'm I forgetting something am i forgetting something am i forgetting something am i forgetting something i don't know but uh yeah I'm dirty. I'm about to wash up, you know, pile all the parts up so I can put it in my car. We're going to go drop it off here in a second. So once I wash up, I'm going to let it run for a minute and I'm going to come in here and clean up, move the next car in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? 